Hello, I'm Matt Lefew in Leicester Square for the red carpet premiere of Mr Peabody and Sherman. If you had a time machine, where would you go in time? I'd, I'd like one that just goes back five minutes. Just five minutes? Why yeah. five minutes? That'll do me. Just just to kind of to say that perfect sort of thing that you thought of five minutes later. You know, and you think, oh, I should have said that. Know and you, uh, you know what I mean? And like going back, you know, just to kind of, because I'm always forgetting things in my house. Henry VIII. Why Henry VIII? Is it the food? Six wives. Six wives? You like the ladies? Yeah. Put a heap of bets on as to who won the Super Bowl. I'd probably go back to see like my grandparents when they were young. Oh, to, nice. Yeah, just to see if you know they're telling the truth about all their stories. <laughs> <laughs> Where would I go? I'd probably go back to uh, the Downton Abbey era, uh -huh. back in the what was the twenties? Is it 1910, 1920? I would probably go back to the Egyptians, maybe. Okay. That, that seems pretty cool. Uh, somewhere hot. It's got to be hot. If you could travel in time, where would you go? Um, back to the 20s, or the when was the Duchess filmed, like that period? I just want to be Keira Knightley in that film, actually. Okay. And if you knew how to do time travel, what would your time machine look like? Uh, probably be a big door, like an elevator, more, look more like an elevator. Okay. Would it be a flying elevator, like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Yeah. Would it be made of glass? Probably. Just like me. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Oh yeah, probably. I, I love Back to the Future. It's my favourite movie um, um, as a kid. So I'd probably take a DeLorean. Oh, it'd be very glittery. Um, everyone would have to notice it. So it'd have to be stand out. It's not going to be one of those little things that blend in. It'll be I'm here. And what's your time machine look like, Puds? <laughs> Great, fantastic. So if you could go back in your own life, would you change anything in your own life? No, I don't think so, no. I mean, I think that, um, you know, it, it's, it's difficult, you know, it's, it's interesting that a lot of films that deal with time travel, they always sort of uh, talk about the implications of that, you know, they sort of think, well, you know, you change, you change one thing, you change all these other things. Not really. No. I love my life. Um, I don't think so, because sometimes you do look back in life and think, oh, if I'd have done this differently or done that differently, but then I wouldn't be here. You know, maybe I'd be somewhere else. Change anything in my own life? No, not at all. I think your life's mapped out for you and, you know, so far it's been a great life. I've been very lucky. Nothing. I love my life. I've been saying going back and do Britain's Got Talent again because it's one of those experiences where you're so nervous you don't get to enjoy it as much as you want to. How did you come up with the song for this film, Pete? Yeah, I was saying before that, you know, the song Kid is very... The words represent the relationship between Peabody and Sherman, but it also mirrors the relationship between me and Junior so much. It's that father-son relationship, and I basically had to write a song around that. So if you're up for a family film that the kids are going to enjoy, check out Mr Peabody and Sherman on general release from the 7th of Feb. Where are we going to go next, Mr Peabody? Not where, Sherman. When. Not